Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Golf Tracer app for the iPhone and the Android. Now, if you're going to use this app, it's very important that you have a tripod for your phone. You can buy these tripods for anywhere from $8 to $20 on Amazon. Today, we're going to look at the automatic feature for the Golf Tracer app. Now, this app is going to allow us to change the ball trajectory, so the peak level of the ball, and also we can change the movement. So if we want to play a fade or a draw, we can do that. There's other options and more advanced modes for the app, but really it's hard to use. The automatic's pretty simple. So let's take a look at it. For six bucks, this app can be really great. Okay, let's start with the App Store. You're gonna to go to the App Store on your iPhone or Android. Go ahead and type in Shot Tracer, and it's gonna be one of the first apps that pops up. It will have a golf ball with a pinkish red line. As you can see, the reviews are very mixed. It can be a great app or it can be super difficult to use. Again, the key is to have a steady tripod to film your shots on. So let's go ahead and open the Shot Tracer. The cost is right around $6. It's definitely worth it. And again, if you do like this video, please give it a like and maybe even subscribe to the channel. That'd be great. So there's a lot of things you can do with this app. We're going to focus on the shot tracer. The first step is to import a video from your camera roll. So let me find a video or a shot I want to use. We're going to use a driver and we're going to try to make this as simple as possible. The next step is you need to freeze frame your ball at impact. So at the bottom of the screen, there's a scroll bar. And I like to scroll to see the ball flight first, okay? This is a par four. I know I'm aiming towards those trees on the left to play a fade. Um, it is a good thing to freeze at impact not before you hit the ball but right after it okay so i found a spot right after and you're going to press analyze down at the bottom now this is going to take uh 30 seconds it's going to track your ball flight to its best ability it does a pretty good job here i'm going to go down at the bottom bottom right hand corner and extend the line so it matches my ball as you can see it's moving towards the ball Okay, so as you can see, the ball is in the red line. It's tracking it pretty darn well. Um, I am going to move the peak up, which changes the ball flight just a little bit to match it. However, when you see on the replay, I actually move it just a little too high. Another thing you can do is go to the options. You can change the line color. You can play with the options you know, get used to it. And the final step is to save the video. Okay, this was a good video, so really automatic mode really did a good job with the ball flight. Now let's see how it looks. It's gonna save it to camera roll, and let's see it on the iPhone or computer on the big screen right after this. Okay, it's a pretty darn accurate ball flight. However, I manually changed the peak and it probably should be lower. Okay, it was probably right. Let's check out another video. So this is a different angle. We're gonna go to a chip shot. And again, this shot tracer is not perfect, okay? Again, one of the key things is to freeze your ball at impact. Okay, mine's not perfect here. I can see my ball flight. It goes left of that pine tree so left of the pine tree i'm going to try to freeze it the best i can at impact again try to freeze it after you hit the ball instead of before so there is where i'm going to freeze it right there and we're going to press analyze it will track the ball flight and it is pretty darn accurate again um, i'm actually going to lower the peak this time because the peak is a little too high for this. So I'm gonna fix the ball flight during peak. You press peak and I'm gonna lower the ball trajectory. Now, the thing about this video with the chip shot is for some reason, the red line takes forever to come down. So if you know how to make it speed up, you'll see here. 
okay it takes forever to come down if you know how to speed that up leave a message in the comments or something um it's pretty accurate though i mean it's not dead on but i'm pretty happy with it all right thank you for watching